This is a song written by Andy Lowell Garden to talk about the purpose of why we do Hawaiian music, hula, and mele, and how the music defines the hula, and the hula defines who we are, and the mele defines who we are. As people of the land, people of the language, heritage, and culture, ha hula is to get grounded, ha, to dance and sway to the beat of the song, a song that she wrote for Kumuhula Alicia Smith. So you guys cannot be stopped clapping. I talk to the beat of the song if you love hula and Hawaiian music. So because this is a night of love. Here in the lounge, please help me welcome from Hula written by one of my instructors of Hawaiian music who, who wrote beautiful songs like Echo Morning Yeah? And he wrote love songs and he wrote songs like UFO because he believed in aliens. UFO. <laughs> and well, he really did have many aliens. I love aliens. One day I'll meet one. And so um, from wires or whatever. And so this song talks about the beauty of where we come from, right? We come, everyone comes from different moku, different districts of Oahu, Maui, I'm Maui. I live, I live on Maui, originally from the Big Island. I'm from Hilo. 
home of mildew and mold. All the time, but the beauty of each moko exemplifies the the landscape and the rain and wind means that talks about these places and makes Hawaii so beautiful. So Kulaivi means our home. Like Maui is where I live. My great grandparents are from. Great great grandparents are from Keanu and Hana. And we are still waiting for our kanaka of that kulaiwi of Lahaina. Pray for our families of Lahaina. Give them a round of applause. They are strong. They are strong. They are all strong. They get their homes built. Permits, licenses, passes. So we get their homes built. They sat with a round of applause. This is for you, Lahaina. This is for you, the house. If you love Hawaii, have your hands to the beat of the song, like this, together. So, yes, Hawaii, so we can have some fun. Let's talk about our Aina, where we come from. Why are we proud being from Hawaii? Come on, I can't hear you. The first class seats, I can't hear you too. Wow, look at that, wow, here we go. You know what? This was a wrong song. This is not my fault. I'm not even looking at the, at the set list. Oh my gosh. This song is called Kanai Yao Kwani. Yes, for my new album. I'm doing a new song for my new album. Hey! Woo! This is to honor Kamehameha Ekahi. We united many Hawaiian islands under one room. You hear the word. I'm sorry, brother. Love you. It's the purple, that's why. Yeah. And then the verse you'll hear. Nahonoa Pigilani, Chief Pigilani, who rules Maui, honors Kahului. You hear the word Kakuhiheva, Chief Kakuhiheva. We honor the chief of Oahu. You hear the word Mano Kalanipo, the chief of Kauai. Mele upon a Kauai is in the high.
Lounge. Woo! Awesome studio. Woo! You got the Velvet Monkey upstairs. It's called the Velvet Monkey. It's really cute. It's very quaint. And have other names for their food. It's Velvet Monkey. It's so rated I love it. Go mine on tweaking on Starbucks. <laughs> but this song is called Kula Yami on the right track, my brother. And this is from my third Grammy Award winning album. Um, I'm so happy we have this intimate concert for you know for this CD. This is so cool. Give a round of applause for the bartenders, management, everybody. Here is the sound man, give him a round of applause. This was composed by my Kumo. To talk about us coming together just like this, bringing peace and unity to the people of Hawaii. We need this, right? Music is healing. And I gotta tell you something, friends. You know, today at the airport, I was taking pictures with friends and fans and family, and just one fan came to me and made me cry, you know, and the beauty of music is healing. He came to me and I was trying to understand what he was articulating, and he said, I can't hear you. Yeah, hearing impaired. I'm oh, impaired. He's hearing impaired. I can't hear you, but I can feel your music. You have to understand how pivotal music is. Whether you're performing Waikiki, whether I performed at Carnegie Hall recently, whether I'm performing here in the lounge, music is healing. And we're here tonight because we all need that healing. So mahalo for having me. Thank you so much.
so many things unfold over the years, and I realized, you know, life is short, right? I mean, 41, I'm balding. <laughs> and my life expectancy is like 70, so I'm practically halfway there. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna get slapped, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so funny because it's, it's the beauty about this whole concert feel is I, I, I go swimming and then I work out with Kupuna. Oh, these elders that keep me motivated on Maui. And they told me, where are you singing, Kalani? I'm like, oh, Hawaii Kaida. Ooh, Bonushi. I don't know. So he goes, you go be around Louis Vuitton kind of people. I don't know. But enjoy your concert, Kalani. And I see, I see loved ones in the audience. And I wrote this song called Queenie, which is the title track of my album, to honor the matriarchs and the women, all the matrilineal powers of women. My mother, my grandmothers, my maternal grandmother, my paternal grandmother, who have shaped who I am today. My father plays a big role in my life, but it was a matriarchs in my family that made me who I am today. And so this song is about the women who I call them queening. <coughs> you are all queening. The queen in this room, Margie, Queen and Ashlyn, for being part of my health journey. I want to dedicate this. To Mele Apana, the queen of radio in the house. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Woo! She recently went through a life changing moment, losing her best friend 15 years, her little only. It's not only a dog, it was a family friend. 15 years. Hear her cry over the phone. You know, queens do cry, you know. I dedicate this to you, Nella Pama. May you, gentlemen, love your queen, cherish your queen, because life is short. I would like to welcome you, dancing this song for you, ladies. My original song called Queenie.
I call her the queen of gold. Yes. This is a love song for you, loved ones. Go something like this. Makapo li hono.
old word of the Ainaf Lahaina, the gruesome sun, the heat of the sun. The ulu is a breadfruit. It was known by our lady that had planted an enormous amount of breadfruit to provide the, such watershed, the canopy and understory to provide that water wealth and to bring that water table up so that we don't have to worry about wildfires. We already had that system. So I acknowledge what our ancestors have set and established for us. And then you hear the word kiha vahine. Can you say kiha vahine? Kiha vahine. It means the mo'o goddess, the lizard goddess. She travels through the tunnels from Pailoko Waihege, playing with little kids and taking them swimming. And she was the protector of Lahaina. So many memories as a young child in Lahaina. This song is a song for the people and the families for the people of Lahaina. So please help me welcome it. Dancing this mele for the very first time here in the lounge. Crystal Yamamura, Kumuhula. Please welcome her. To Thank you for taking this. This is a debut for the people of Lahaina. For Kamehameha for Pikilani. No Ikalanila, no Kikihawahine, no Maui Nuiaka. Oh, mm -hmm. 
you, Mahima. That was our first time doing this. Give a round of applause. Come on, our first time. We're gonna go to an intermission. I'm gonna sing one more song and I promise be back for a second set. So that means you gotta drink more alcohol, take care of your bartenders, <laughs> eat good food, yeah? And then I'm selling my brand new CD. Queenie for the first time over here. I love you, Wesley Anzai. I miss Wanda so, so much. I do. She's my queenie as well. She's here with us. She's here. And um, if you buy my CD, you can help Pete play it for my electric bill on Maui. It's <laughs> Yeah. You can use a CD for your luxurious dogs of Kahala. Throw them as a frisbee. Because I need help pay my bills. I promise. Inflation is horrible. If you buy my CD, I have five of them. If you buy a set and I'll sign them for you after the concert, but I don't know, we have to switch off fast for Tabana's concert. But intuition, I'll go do a quick bite for five minutes, come on for 10 minutes. You guys can be sign your CDs. If you can use them, you can use them as a coaster too. <laughs> She's like, I'm not taking you seriously right now. I need some good music. No jokes over here. You're not a comedian. Okay, so we'll do an intermission. But this song, you're going to sing this song with me. Right, JR? You're going to sing this. The king of marathons right now. You're going to sing this song because I love doing this. I have to tell you something, okay? I went on this new health journey. I'm going to talk about it. Three months ago. I was over 500 pounds and I had to do the gastric to take care of myself. I'm so honored to have lost 120 pounds. not a joke, but every time I overeat and I have to go to the restroom to bleh, whatever, <laughs> I think of Karen Carpenter. You know, she's bulimic, but I'm, I'm like, don't you remember? <laughs> Actually, I love you, Karen, but it is just, the way it is, it's a lifestyle change. I eat a few bites, I'm full, but I'm happy. I get to stand without sitting, I get to move around, I get to work out. And I have to go. I'm so grateful. Right now, first of all, is that the pole? Is that the pole? Is that the pole? Is that the pole? That so, this is a song for you, ladies and gentlemen. It's a song to honor the one and only, the Carpenters. And you're going to sing this song with me. It goes something like this. Don't you remember my time?
Good time. If you want to, the restrooms are in the back by the um, the curtains behind the curtains.